Hello Doll Dogs, this is Kianara and I'm here today with a brand new episode of How to Face Up. Today on this episode I wanted to talk to you about pastels. Now before I go and show you what pastels I use for my face ups, I wanted to talk to you about the basics of pastels. Now pastels, you use them to blush your head, like for example put some blushes on the cheeks, color the lips, put some blushing on the eyes and stuff like that. Um, but when you choose your pastels, it doesn't really matter what kind you prefer. If you prefer the, the box of 2 euros or the expensive box of 50 euros. The thing you have to keep in mind when choosing your pastels is that you choose soft pastels. Um, when you choose oil pastels or pastels that uh, have oil in them or any other kind of pastels that are not soft pastels, there is a really, 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 really big chance that your doll will get stained because um, the oils in the non-soft pastel version, they will seep through your sealant, they will seep in, into your resin and they will leave permanent stains and marks on your face and you don't want that to happen. So whatever brand you decide to choose in the end, choose the soft pastels. That's the only thing you have to keep in mind. Yes? So now we got that basic info out of the way, I am going to show you exactly what pastels that I use myself. So there we are, box of pastels number one. These are the pastels that I started out with when I first started doing face-ups. This is a Van Eyck box, or Van Eyck in Dutch. Um, they hold 24 pastels and they these boxes they go for about three to four euros or sometimes even less than that. Um, they hold all the basic colors that you need for your face-ups. Um, let me open the box for you so you can see the actual colors. There they are! ta -da! Now as you can see they have been used a lot by me. I myself use these pastels for about three to four years before switching to a more expensive brand. These pastels do get the job done. These pastels, there's nothing wrong with them. They might not be as pigmented as some of the other more expensive brands, but that only means that you have to use like one or two more layers in your face up to build up the color to the intensity that you want it to be. But if you take that into consideration when you do your face ups, these pastels are perfect. Nothing wrong with them. So, yeah, let me box this one up again, so I can show you box number two. And there we go, box of pastels number two. These pastels are Mungio pastels, they have 64 colors in them. And um, this, is, this is actually the second brand that I bought after doing face-ups. So I'm going to open it for you. This normally doesn't come with them, but I use that to secure the pastels in the box a little bit better because they do tend to move around and there they are. Now as you can see these pastels are slightly smaller than the Van Eyck box but um, just a little bit of pastel goes a very very long way. Just keep that in mind. You can do, you could spend years with this box without having to buy a new one. Um, as you can see this box has a whole lot of more colors than the first one. Yeah, there's a, there's a difference between 24 and 64, so yeah. Okay, um, I got this box myself. Um, at the time I bought it at Leak World. And it is not, it's not, not a really expensive box. I think I paid like between 7 and 10 dollars, if I believe. But I'm not quite sure anymore because it's been a long time. Um, but yeah, these boxes are not really that expensive as well. And um, what I found with this box is that uh, some of the colors are really pigmented and others are not. Some of the colors, they show up on your face like exactly as they are in the box and other colors, they change when you put them on a doll's head. So I found that really confusing and really hard to use. So I didn't really use this box a lot, but I do still have it because I didn't want to buy 64 other pastels because I will show you in a little bit I bought my pastels that I currently use by the piece. I use this box still to this day when I have to do like really colorful face-ups with colors that are not typically used in face-ups. 
like those really extreme colors that I have to mix with different kinds of colors and um yeah, that's that's what I use this box for. When I have to do like extremely colorful face-ups, I use these. Because I do have to struggle a little bit with finding the right color on the hat. But once I did that, these are just perfect. I just prefer not having not to have to do that every time I do a face-up. So yeah, if you have this box, this box is perfect as well. There's nothing wrong with it, but um, yeah, like, like I said, my preferences are to pastels that actually show up the same way that they look. And some of these pastels don't do that, in my experience. And um, yeah, I do like my pastels a bit more pigmented than some of these are. And yeah, I didn't like the, the difference between one and the other pastels. If I have a box of pastels, I would prefer them to work the same way from each pastel color to another. So yeah, that's why I don't use this one as, as much. But if you don't mind having to find out what pastels work and what pastels don't. And for example, you could have no problem with this at all. It, it's all a, just a bit of preferences as well. Some might not like the pastels that I work with. That's totally possible. But yeah, these Mongeo pastels I do only use when I do very, very, very colorful face-ups. But once again, there's nothing wrong with these, these colors. They are just not for me as much. So... Now I'm going to show you the pastels that I use on a daily basis. So let me clear this box up and I will be back with you with those. Ta-da! Box number three and box number four. So um, these boxes, they say Rembrandt soft pastels, but there's not just only Rembrandt in here. So um, when I buy my pastels, I buy them by the piece. I don't buy boxes, I only buy the colors that I use a lot on my face-ups um, and when I buy them at the piece I buy them at the next town over here and they have like this huge collection of pastels where you can just buy one or two or however many way you want and when you take them home they just put them in a paper bag and you have to find a way to store them somehow not break them or get lost or stuff like that so I bought these special soft pastel cases from Rembrandt to put them in to safely store them away when I don't use them. So let me open up one of these boxes and show you what's inside. Ta-da! Now I have two brands of pastels in here. As you can see, some of them broke, unfortunately. They didn't really survive um, storage before I got these boxes. Um, but they are still perfectly fine to use. I, in this box, have Rembrandt and Jaxel. Those are my two go-to brands, because um, sometimes Rembrandt has colors that Jaxel doesn't have, and Jaxel has colors that Rembrandt doesn't have. So that's why I have a collection of both of them. Um, the colors that I personally use the most is this one, the flesh colored one, the black one, and the dark brown one. Those are the, the you use them a lot in just simple blushing and uh, doing the eyebrows and stuff like that. So those are the colors that I use most. But um, these pastels, Jaxels, go for about a euro a piece. And the Rembrandts go about three to four euros a piece. So Rembrandt is a really expensive brand where Jaxel is a little less expensive. A little friendlier for your wallet, so to say. <laughs> But um, there is a slight difference between Jaxel and Rembrandt. Rembrandt is a little bit more pigmented than Jaxel is, just slightly. So it's not a big difference, but there is a, sl a slight difference. Um, but yeah, there is a big price difference. So it, in the end, it isn't really surprising that Rembrandt is a little bit better in my eyes. Not everybody agrees on that, of course. Um, but yeah, these are the brands that I personally use the most and love to use, um, even though they are a little bit more expensive. So I'm going to close this box up for just a moment, put it away so I can show you my other colors because I have other colors in this box. These are my reds and somewhat different colors. As you can see, these are Rembrandts and these in the back are Rembrandts as well. But I also have these, I'm, I'm not really good at, in, at, at French, is it Trois d'Or? Or something like that. And please excuse my bad French. Um, these three I actually got from uh, one of my doll friends for my birthday. And I have had a chance to use them. She um, gave me these uh, nice, awesome little colors to use. Let me get them. Come here. Ta-da! 
these fun little colors to use on my more colorful face-ups. And I actually quite like these. These, these. these are really good. I don't know how expensive they are or what they cost because they were a present to me. So I can't tell you much about that. But yeah, these four, they are perfectly fine to use on face-ups as well. I have used them multiple times already and I do truly love them. So these are the colors that I usually use for blushing and lips. And these are yeah, the specialty colors and these two colors I use to um, put realism into my face-ups. Now, as you can see, I have this really coppery kind of soft pastel here. And it is, let me see, what is it? Um, pastel à l'écu, à l'écu, la pla, la that. Like I said, <laughs> my French sucks. Oh yeah, are they called Sennelier? That's also a possibility. I have no clue. But I bought this one for a project. And uh, come on, focus. Thank you. I bought this one for a project and they don't work. Yeah, I put that on my face up and when I sealed it, the color just disappeared. So... It's fine to use on paper, I guess, but not on the face up because it just won't stay. So I wouldn't recommend that one. But these days they, are perfectly fine. They are very well pigmented. You don't need as much layers um, with Rembrandt than, for example, with Van Eyck. Um, I personally use two to three layers to get the color that I want with Rembrandt, where I need to put four to five coats or layers with uh, the Van Eyck pastels. So. That is the main difference between cheaper pastels and more expensive pastels that you normally... I don't. I haven't used all the brands that are out there, of course, so these are only my experience with the ones that I have actually used. Um, the more expensive pastels just have more pigment and don't require as much layers or layering as the cheaper ones. So that concludes my episode of how to face up with pastels. I um, showed you all the pastels that I have in my collection, the pastels that I've used before and the which I use right now. Um, I just wanted to uh, conclude this video by telling you don't have to use the brands that I use. There are like a gazillion brands out there that have soft pastels for sale. And um, I suggest that you just go and look what, what's out there, see what... Um, kinds of brands they have, what they offer, what their colors are, and just choose the pastels that you feel most comfortable with using. Um, using pastels is like paint or um, sealant. It is a thing of preferences. Um, some might adore Rembrandt and some might hate it, for example. Um, so yeah, like I, and like I told you, I myself have started out with cheaper ones and as time went, I started using more expensive ones. It is also a bit of a journey, I guess, to find the right ones that you um, you prefer to use. So in the end, whatever brand you choose, whether it is the cheaper ones or the more expensive ones, as long as you are happy with the brand that you have and you get the result that you want, there's nothing wrong with the pastels that you have. You don't have to use more, buy more expensive ones because they are better or something like that. No, that's not the case. As long as you are happy, then everything is okay. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I hope um, I was able to you know, give you the information that you were looking for and stuff like that. Um, if you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up. That will be great. If you like what I'm doing, want to see more of the How to Face Up series, then please subscribe to my channel. You'll be freaking awesome. And I hope you all have a lovely day and I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Bye.